Where is this happiness, this nebulous term? You know, it's the most overused word in the world right now. In fact, if you go to Google and you type how to be, guess what the first drop down is? Happy. By the way, number two, three, and four are rich, pretty, and real estate agent. No wonder there's this big happiness industry. We want it more than anything else, but it ain't that easy to find. There's a Harvard MBA, a New York Times best-selling author, award-winning blogger, and one of the most popular TED speakers in the world. Good afternoon, everybody. Neil has spoken to hundreds and thousands of people all over the world. He spent a decade as director of leadership inside Walmart. And his work has been seen everywhere from CNN to BBC. The list goes on and on. What a joy this is to be at Google Play. Where did this all begin? For me, honestly, it starts about 50 years ago. My mom is from Nairobi, Kenya. My dad is from a small village outside of Amritsar, India. And they came here in the late 1960s. My parents gave my sister and I a great life. And they also filled our heads with this model. If you do great work, then you'll have a big success. And then you'll be happy. Does this sound familiar to anybody? We tell our kids this, if you study really hard, then you'll get straight A's, and if you're East Indian, you'll become a doctor. <laughs> if you work really hard, then you get promoted, and then you're happy. But it doesn't work like that. Our model for how we think about happiness is totally backwards. One of the most popular TED speakers of all time the author of The Book of Awesome. More than a million copies worldwide. Best-selling author of The Happiness Equation. There's a book that will change how you think about everything. Yep, but we know how to get it. We know what to do. Remember I said I went through over 300 positive psychology studies? I did not do that for fun. It was the worst thing I've ever done. But what I did for you guys today is I pulled out the five big ones. From those 300, I pulled out the five super studies. Here's the thing I want to say to you all, is if you can commit to doing something I call the 20 for 20 challenge, which is where you pick one of these five things I'm about to talk about, and you say, I'm gonna do that in the morning for 20 minutes a day, for 20 days in a row, about three weeks to develop a habit, I've soaked into my DNA a happiness practice that will be harder to get out of now. You just think to yourself, could I pick one of these things? So here are the big five super studies. 